So five matches in, and what an upset. But then again, France decided to kind of throw in their B team because, well, let's face it, they were going in to the next round, so they didn't really have to try. So they kept their players off to the side. So now we look to the last match, which for me, sadly, I have to win this one in order to get the blueprint or else it's all for naught. So with that being said, we look at Cameroon versus Brazil. Now, Brazil is moving on to the next round as it is. Now, what does this mean? This means that they might pull the exact same stunt that France did. Why throw out all the star players onto the field if we're moving on to the next round? Now, keep in mind, Brazil is a notoriously good team. Even their substitutes and their secondary starters are amazing players. Meaning that they would probably still have a chance against Cameroon. But also keep this in mind that their star player, Neymar, is injured with an ankle injury and is not going to be playing until the next round starts. So that pretty much leaves Brazil not fighting at full strength, but still very much more than capable of pulling it off. <coughs> and then that leaves Cameroon. Now, while Cameroon needs this game, they don't necessarily... Not that they don't stand a chance, but it could go either way. So after the last two upsets in a row, in which you had it that France lost and then the previous match was, well, yeah. In other words, people are thinking Brazil is going to win, but it could be another upset. But at this point, I've already got one blueprint. I'm willing to put my money on Brazil. And we'll see how it plays off. So to all of you guys out there, you guys have an off the day, night, whatever you're doing. Do it wholeheartedly. And this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to click that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.